What's going on YouTube? Today's video is going to be on cut shots. On the last video, I did a brief explanation on how I do my cut shot using CT. For this example, I have the one ball on the second diamond on the long rail and the first diamond on the short rail. This time the cue ball is going to be on the fourth diamond on the long rail and the first diamond on the, on the short rail. This cue ball is going to be representing the ghost ball. And I'm going to be explaining on how I use my CT and doing a pivot method. When you're cutting the object ball into a pocket, regardless of where the pocket is and where the object ball is, the biggest thing is, if you, for this example, we're cutting the object ball to the left. So you know that we're going to use the cue ball's left side edge to go to A, B, or C. We're always going to read it like, like the English dictionary. It's going to be from left to right. So this is going to be A, this is going to be B, and that's going to be C. So this tells me this is going to be half ball hit. So this is going to be a B. So once we get to the B, then we get the center of the cue ball and aim it to the edge. We should have the parallel line. One of the biggest thing is I actually do a manual shift, but I do it when I come down to the cue, to the cue ball itself. What I mean is when I know I'm cutting a ball to the left, you will see me go from the left to the right and go down to the shot. So if I was going to cut this one ball to the left pocket, I would aim the left side of my cue ball to the letter B, the center of that object ball, and then get the center of the cue ball and aim it at the edge, giving me that center to edge aiming system. Since I'm also aiming it to the left, I will go with a left sweep, going from left to right, looking like this, and going down to my shot, and taking my shot, and hopefully make it in the corner pocket. For this example, I have the three ball on the third diamond on the long rail and a half a diamond on the short rail. And I have the cue ball on the opposite side of the table, a diamond and a half on the short rail and the third diamond on the long rail. This cue ball is representing the ghost ball. This, if you notice, this cue ball, once we pan out to the, up, to the shooting side, this is covering three fourths of the shot. To get my alignment for this shot, I will get the right side of this cue ball and aim it to A, B, and C. So I notice that this is gonna be a C shot, then I would aim the edge to the C, then the center of the cue ball to this edge, making me getting my center to edge aiming point. Once I get my center on edge, this is where I'm gonna do my sweep. This is gonna be a right cut, therefore I'm gonna go from right to left. It's gonna look like this, from right to left, and go down to my shot. So if I was gonna make this three to the corner pocket, I'll go from the right side of this cue ball since it's gonna be a right cut, and I will go to aim it to the C, and I'll get the center of the cue ball, aim it to the edge of the object ball, and give me my lineup. Then I will do a right sweep, going from right to left, and get down to my shot, and hopefully make this three ball into the corner pocket. For this example, I have the object ball on the second diamond on the long rail and the first diamond on the short rail. Where the cue ball lays is going to be on the third diamond on the long rail and half a diamond on the short rail. This is going to be representing the ghost ball. For this setup, you notice the four ball is going to go to this far pocket. I have the ghost ball directly right in front of it. It's covering exactly half of the object ball and this template is covering half. But if we rotate towards where this cue ball is, you'll notice it only covers a quarter of the object ball, making this a only a quarter ball hit. If I'm gonna cut this four ball into this corner pocket, I know this is gonna be a right cut. Therefore, I should aim the right edge of this cue ball to A, B, and C. Since this is a quarter ball hit, I should aim it at the A. And the center of this cue ball will be at the center of the ghost ball where it was before. Once I know that, therefore I can go to a right sweep from right to left, looking like this, and I should make this four ball to the corner pocket. For this example, I have the five ball directly right on the edge on the first diamond on the long rail. Where the cue ball lays, it's gonna be on the first diamond on the short rail, and a diamond and a half on the long rail. For this shot, it's gonna be an edge to edge. If I'm gonna make this five ball into this corner pocket, 
I know this is gonna be a right cut. And I also know this is gonna be an edge to edge shot. Therefore, I should aim the right edge of this cue ball to the edge of this five ball, and I should do a right sweep. I should go from right to left and make this high ball into the corner pocket. I actually did a brief explanation on how I do my cut shots and how I use CTE. The biggest thing is get a strike ball to determine what your A, B, and C is. Just remember, the outside stripe is going to be A, the middle is going to be B, the opposite side is going to be C. Also use a ghost ball to determine what cut shots you're going to have. You might have a quarter ball hit, a half ball hit, a three-fourths ball hit, a full ball hit, an edge-to-edge -edge ball hit. Hopefully this video was informative. Stay tuned, we're gonna do more position plays. Thank you for watching, see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me, don't forget the thumbs up. Bye bye.